Hi friends, welcome back. I am DJ Montague. Today we are checking out game three of the October 19th tournament. This was during the Supervive, basically Super Week, where the servers were on the entire time. There was a tournament on Saturday and a tournament on Sunday. And this is from the perspective of Moonlit Battlegrounds. We'll be talking about rotations and like how we move as a team and what we talk about as a team. And uh, let's get into it. All right, so again, if you don't know, Moonlit Battlegrounds, my team, um, me, Jay the Yggdrasil, also known as Look at Me Yggdrasil, Goked, and Unseen Jaguar. So um, we are going to play the same team comp, but I make a, a, a call to go full tank on KP. I really, like, goofed it. I would say that I threw part of the first two games because whether or not I did good damage and got good hooks, which I did, I did fine as a player. Um, there was a few team fights where I could have lived a lot longer and not be absolutely fucking paper. I put more trust in my team in game three and four, and this is where we make our big comeback. So um, looking at this game, what is it taking so long? This is okay. So um, SNR gets two wins in a row. How we win this tournament is crazy. So we basically say, all right, anytime we see oatmeal, we're going. Anytime we see soul, we're going. Because we're at, I think we're in fourth place right now. And we're like 20 points behind first. It's a pretty tight bracket right now. Pretty tight tournament. Because SNR is not getting much kill participation. They got two wins, but they, they didn't like dominate the lobby. So from this area right here, I, I think Jay is talking about us dropping Dawn Caps or Mana Coils. So I personally like Dawn Caps. I think you're able to get some good items from Dawn Caps. Um, we're looking at getting blue armor and moving towards either Sight or Ion, right? And so we take that, take an early push into blue armor, knowing that there's going to be another team here. Knowing full well there's going to be another team. So they know that I'm KP, right? Goofed. I think this is awkward, but they're moving to the right of their oath shield, and I'm just sitting there. They think I might have any sort of grab. I don't. You take shift. This is an awkward ass fight for us. So, yeah, this is a incredibly awkward team fight. There's not that many mobs in mana coil. So if two teams drop, it's all about like who's able to get control over the other mob pack. Because there's like two to the left. I mean, if you look at it like a diamond, there's two to the left, one on each point, and then up top there's two. Up here, up top, up top, up 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 up. Actually, I think there's only one in mana coils. But either way, so we're able to get some some recoup in. Um, in Chaos Steps, not a lot of people drop Chaos Steps because literal lava, um, and it's a tough place to fight in. People always worry about it, but places to drop that have any sort of vision control, being camp and a being a camp or UAV is always going to be really good. But the mobs here do like punch you around a lot, so it's it's pretty annoying to fight here. For just mobs in particular. Um, let's see. We take... Immediately, we go for... Top control. We know we have the bonfire. We know if anybody goes to, try to get the bonfire, we have that information. We get the vault with hover wings. And I think another one accidentally spawns. There's something, yes, right there. Very weird. We don't, I don't know why that happened. There was some really fucky shit, but, um, there was some, some messed up stuff, I should say. Um, there was some really weird things happening. 
uh, in the in the tournament that was the next day, uh, I think we would have got like second or third. No, probably third or fourth. Um, if there was a bug that happened with uh, one of our teammates where right in the last team fight, they DC'd. And so they stood still and literally gave most wanted a kill after we were cleaning up the other team fight. It's, it was crazy. It was such a bummer. Like we were in prime position to win that game with TLD in it. And we killed TLD in the, in the last team fight. But anyways. So right here, like we should be moving back to our base because like get the HP. I think we all base anyway, but three hover wings. Fuck great. I end up taking both like passives because like fuck it just to have powers, extra stats is whatever. Uh, we get a cook, we get armor back. And we go back to our UAV that we have control over. Like, Chaos Steps, is, I think, is completely underrated. It's really good. Why didn't... Wait, what the fuck? It didn't drop. Are you fucking kidding me, Jack? Can you go, go back and grab it? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Because, like, I did the thing, and it was, it was over that. But either way. That's a shame. That is a, a, a damn shame. I think we get a good team fight here. Grab, stun. We got one. That's like that guy has gotten. That team has gotten gripped by me twice now, or double stun in the last game. Bummer town. Oh yeah, he immediately pulls out glider. This team is one of the teams that was put together last second. They weren't exactly, like, very good. The team that... They were also the team that had a DC. Going up. A moment. Or not DC, the guy that uninstalled. See, this is a really awkward scenario. We're super split on this team fight. I try and get back to Go. We try and get Kobayashi. Um, Arba has to pull out his glider, basically. Again, it doesn't work. That was weird. That's very strange. So now we have ults. Gokt goes in by himself because he's a psychopath. Able to come back. I'm watching in case somebody comes over. But that is two different teams fighting and we are technically third party. So we split up again. We have control over on the left. We have control on the right with me. And then we have control over Kobayashi's exit. So if anybody wants to come out of that exit, we could fight. Um, I don't think this is a really good position of us. Because Oath should be where I am. So that if he gets a stun, I can grip past him or grip him if he needs to get out. Um, I do. I'm playing super aggressive right now because I'm upset. But right in front of us, damage soul gets killed. I think I get it too. I'm crazy. I see it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Stunning him. I got the stun. I get pushed off. That was a beautiful push to get Pensado out of the Pensado should have been dead. Heal, heal. Wait for him to heal. It was a weird team fight. Get stun. Dude, two two big stuns in this team fight. We're able to move. I mantle. Oh, oh! He gets the stun against the wall on Arba, misses the shift, but we have full advantage of this team fight. Firefox, stun on Firefox. He's running out. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Boom. Pensado's dead. Then. Oh, that's right. I wanted hover wings. <laughs> oh, this is such a weird game. It's crazy the comeback we make from the poverty walk in the very beginning of the game. Uh, we got a red key. Um, I should take that armor, but I don't because I'm weird. But if you look in that team fight, I probably would have died if I had um, a hybrid build, which is a shame because I ended up doing okay damage and still able to 
maneuver around, get two two stuns, and live. Nice. We want Night Stalker sold. So I said before in game one that Shrapnel sold's the best. I was wrong. I forgot about Night Stalker Soul. Night Stalker Soul is the best. It's insane. Shrapnel Soul, I think, is second. Teleport Soul, I think, is third. Teleport Soul is for teams that are winning and want to win harder by dominating the map wherever they go. Like, literally, if you see a res beacon starting or you see, like, a most wanted, you literally teleport on two sides of the most wanted and just collapse on him. Or the same thing with res beacon. Like... It's so hard once the team that has, like, full advantage of the game gets um, Teleport Soul or or the other Soul. God, I'm dumb. It was a terrible, terrible... And I missed that stun somehow, but whatever. I don't know why I'm playing like this. This is really, really, like, it feels foreign to me. So I'm still behind my team, pretty pretty split off. I want to get more arm, not armor, but I do want armor, but I want to be able to cook. And again, I am going double tank item this game. Uh, I'm going the glacial mana helm that throws the little orb uh, because it's guaranteed on stun. Um, and also gigantism, which is the more health you have, the more uh, ability power you get. It was recently nerfed, so it's really only good on like KP and Oath. It seems like, oh my god. I live from here. I don't live. I lied. Wait, just kidding. That is like a, a big counterplay. Damn. They fucking fragged. That was sick. Like, I think we, this is, yeah, this is SNR, and I, th oh, man. So we put them on, like, almost eighth place back foot. Super good. I'm great fucking job, you two. Holy shit. Three, three, sorry. Call them out. Always congratulate your team. Keep more all up. It's really important. They basically hyper carried that team fight and I just fucking fell the fuck over. <laughs> yeah, I'm not playing a good game right now. My next game is good. I feel pretty confident about that. I made a lot of hook. <sighs> so, we know that there's a team above us. I should have bought armor, but I'm going for the red key. I don't know what I end up getting. I think I just get the armor. DM these fucking assholes just spawned right when I'm fucking... Good times. Good times. I have to hook this asshole. Okay, see you later. Whatever. It should have been delicate. It should have been delicate. Wait, wait, wait. Grab, take that and red GA in case you need to grab wisps out of the... This was, this is awkward. This is really awkward. It should have been delicate uh, invis. Because I basically could have ran around the map with nobody knowing where I was into stunts. I, I, maybe it was because I was playing poorly this game. I recognized and called for the red GA because I knew that I wasn't going to make the plays that I wanted to make. Um, and I wanted to put my, or like set my team up for success. I don't know. But our rotation's a little awkward here too, because taking the the air rings here, it, you never really want you want control of the air rings, of course. You don't. Jay, you good? Oh no, I'm fucking. I'm sorry. I, I, That's sad. So this is the situation. He gets put in air rings all the way north. It's really awkward. Like, I don't know. I think. The just the air wings air rings control there is just not not a thing. So we have a three man most wanted. We basically get free level nine as soon as the day ticks over. We have control of the top of the ring or top of the storm. 
that team is forced to come in. We split up again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go for high ground right here on the bottom. Yeah, I'm pinging right there. Um, we get UAV. I move forward because I want to... They, I don't see them on the map. There's no one. Oh, they're to the right and above us. So we take this high ground. There's a team behind us. And so I'm looking for a hook. So I get hook on the KP. That was nuts. I'm crazy. Yep, we got it. You're back up. Oh, you, never mind. Just getting a lot. Thought he was going to be back up, but. 30 seconds. Goes from like a minute to 30 seconds. Right? Good control. I'm looking for a hook. I'm hooking. Ooh, gunner almost got. Just chill. Just chill. They can't really do anything about this. So they're moving they off of it. Off here. Which is weird. I don't know why they don't stick together. Well, they know we have a four man. They know I get... Yeah, we end up getting nine. Yeah, they can't stay. I fuck up here. There's a big part of this game that I think we could have won on. I keep grappling hook. But I also take... Berry eater at one point. Because we're fighting in the area where berries are good. But it ends up being not good there's no no like trees around or bushes or anything we're in a pretty good position we're basically in the storm um and we can move to the shop take control of shop and and basically just have whatever we want yeah see jag calls shop But he's not, he's not the last person. He had most wanted. He's not the last person on his team, though. I go for the hook. That was a mistake. No, it wasn't a mistake. I, I could have got the hook and, and still gotten just fine. Um, It's not a bad hook. I should say. I shouldn't have said it was a bad hook. But this is Soul right below us. Importantly, um, another team that is playing well and placing well. I don't think we have enough gold to pick up the base. We do. I have it enough on me, and I just fucking walk away. That's a big mistake. I definitely could have taken the base with us, and we definitely would have liked to have had it in the last couple team fights. Yeah, I take Barry Eater here because I think that we're going to have to fight downward. Um, This is a big thing, actually. So, I see where we're at. We have Bubba's from the team that we ended. Um, we also have damage soul still. We are like fucking god spot position, but we want more KP because we want to make a play for first. We don't want to play the second, right? So we push up. I let him go walk over it because I know it's mine, no matter what. If he kills it, and then I stun on, stun on. Galaxy. Or no, that's Grotz. Okay. So I should have taken Abyssal Scale for sure right there. A hundred percent should have taken Abyssal Scale. So the, the storm moves to the left and we still could have maintained our spot because it is a good spot. But it ends up getting stolen because I didn't pick it up. That's my mistake right there. I absolutely should have taken that. But there's no buts. That was just a bad idea. We have a good position to third party this team fight, but we don't want to take that because we know that they just wasted two ults and they didn't clean up the team. I thought they got a kill and I thought they got their ultis back. So it would have been like a, a moot point, but this is sick. Look at that. So good. Jag gets his Q, which we should be doing this a lot, but we, we don't. Jack gets his Q as the Q is coming towards me. I grab, <laughs> I grab the, uh, the Aluna. So we have control of this team fight, right? I'm, I'm zoning Celeste. 
there is in a 2v3. Go to help. Get, get Oath. Celeste doesn't have much, right? Celeste already didn't ulti. And shifted across right there. Didn't just jump across. So again, I can take scale right here, and I don't. I think I was just looking around to see what our next play is. So we move up top. Um, we get a ton of KP for that team fight. We're up a lot of points right now. I think we end up getting first points in the game. So again, we should have had that. That felt like, I felt like we should have had that. But anyway, so we have a really good spot here and I try to move them. I try to get everybody to move up first. We could have stayed right there where we are right now and pushed everybody out and forced them to come over to the abyss. But I wanted that spot up here, and this is not a good call from me. Like I said, I wasn't playing very well and very smart this game. Uh, I don't know why I, I want... I mean, I want that spot because I know that there's a 50-50 chance that next uh, next zone goes up here. Um, and it's not Kosh Kunzi zones. There's nothing on this this one. The zone could absolutely go up to where I am or down to where we were. So holding the edge where Jag is, is like the the best way, is what we should have done. I tried to make the best of a bad situation and move to the left. If I had gotten that hook, I'd die. So that would have been a mistake. So they come after me anyway. They double ulti. We end up getting, um, we end up getting control pretty well. We know that left team doesn't have ultis, right? They have to stop. <clears throat> they have to back up. We only, we're missing oath ulti. And at this point, we, we are going to try and get a pick on soul and then move for. I didn't see. I was looking left. They're getting armor here. Um, it's about to, uh, just basically zone control. control. Campfire? Like, there's really nothing that we can do here at this point other than look for hooks, go for fish, and, and like, they throw down two death grenades. We're stuck in this corner. Basically, right now, if they decided, like, I think ult ends up ulting us, like, right uh, in just a moment after I hook Pensado, I think. Someone, uh, yeah, they uh, Arba ults us, right? So we we have to get out. They double Oath OD. Okay, like, we have Oath, we get back up to max HP. We're all standing on top of each other. That's crazy. They wasted two Oath ulting, right? We end up getting hit by Glaciated. That's a ton of damage on Jag. Right? I see Pensado step forward right here. I swear Pensado should be dead. Boom, get the grab. Shift. Sam, you got, you needed to stun that. Makes me sad. But I think um I think Goat had lost his shield right there. So he couldn't shift sh the shield to make it immune and push him into the wall, which would have given him enough, enough time for me to stun him. Guaranteed kill on Pensado. I don't know why they go for this. Because they go to the left and go on ult. And then we get high ground for free, right? We push them back. This is an awkward scenario, too, because, like, I get ulted. I'm trying to move backwards, trying to get a hook, get one. Then they all engage on us. This is, oh, man, this is a crazy fight. I'm able to get out, but I die to the storm. I get hit by the storm, I think. No, maybe I get glaciated or hit by Celeste. I get back up, go for the heal in the corner. I grab Jag to try and heal him in the corner. We have Red GA on GOAT, I think. At this point, this is the final showdown. I go for the stun play, miss. Bad. Go for the oath kill. We get it. Jay gets killed, and then it's down to Goat. If yeah, oh, Sinoid had Reggie. Crazy final team fight. Crazy final team fight. Soul ends up winning game three. And it's a tough L to take because we had 19 knocks, four revives.
They had 12 knocks. We did more damage, and they had nine revives. So they poverty walked twice. I think we poverty walked once. Um, like, all in all, we definitely deserved 1-2 right there, right? That, that was an incredible game from both teams. But, friends, join me back here for game four, last one of this tournament, to see how it all resolves. Uh, spoiler alert. Like I said, we won. So we won the tournament. And how do we win? by getting fifth, fourth, and then second. Uh, follow me at twitch.tv slash DJ Montague for all Super Vive things. We'll have tons of more content coming out, more clips of really cool stuff, playing with some different people, streamers and friends in the chat and all that stuff. So friends, I'll see you soon. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.